The University of Louisville's Angelique Johnson is the minority of the minority, an African-American female researcher who has her own company. Of the researchers who receive small business innovation grants from the federal government, just 10% are minorities and 6% are women around the country. Johnson has received one of those federal grants for her research on a flexible cochlear implant that could help deaf people hear. Ultimately, the goal is to go into these spaces in the body that require a very small, thin, flexible, soft array that you can't produce by hand. Um, but in the short term, the goal is really to reduce cost of this technology. But like many other women and minorities, Johnson has found, at times, she's been faced with some good old boy thinking in research and commercialization circles. Being a, you know, a, a double minority, a woman and African American, um, a lot of times getting private investment, um, you know, either from private equity or from, you know, venture capital firms or, or such, you know, that can be a little bit more of a hurdle for us to get because people aren't familiar with us. UofL is trying to change that, applying for a federal grant and implementing a new program to provide mentoring and help for women and minority faculty, trying to get their research discoveries and products to market. Your first question was, do we have enough? And the answer was no. And now you're saying, do we have any high impact people? And the answer is, yes, we do. Uh, we have some really strong people in the areas of uh, genetics, transplantation, uh, cancer. Paula Bates is a U of L cancer researcher who has discovered that using gold to target cancer can cut the amount of radiation patients need. For people who have early stage cancer, um, it would allow you to to give an effectively a higher dose of radiation, which would have better effects, more chance of stopping the tumor from recurring. Bates has been with UofL since 1999 and has been part of a team that successfully launched a cancer drug company. She thinks respect for female researchers and entrepreneurs has improved. They can do it. And, and part of the problem is, just as with anything else in society, you need role models, you need mentors, you need to look out there and see somebody that looks like you somebody to emulate, somebody that'll teach you, and we're trying to create that next generation.